Hello everyone and welcome to the family channel. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's, I'd say it's a beautiful day, but that'd be a lie. It's really not. It's been cloudy and rainy here for the past few days. Uh, currently though, not raining, thank God. And you guys are getting a little sneak peek here. Pretty dark, isn't it? Um, but you're getting a little sneak peek here of the SVJ. So the graphics haven't taken off, still the blue wrap underneath but we took all the orange off the car. Now, I will be talking about this on the main channel. Basically, you know, that the livery design was never meant to be like a super long-term thing, more of like a, you know, just put it on there for fun. And I had a couple of shows lined up, like the Triple F uh, event out in Ohio. You know, the car did look really good. I ended up keeping the graphics on a lot longer than I had originally planned on. And uh, the whole point was that we wrapped the car blue underneath so that we could take the graphics off and it would still be blue, which I really like the blue color. You guys know I had my ZR1, that same color, 3M Sky Blue, for uh, a very long time. But I will say, upon removing the stickers, uh, you know, I kind of feel like maybe it's a little boring now. Um, great color, you know, the blue is really cool. I think the SVJ looks great in the blue, but after having it look like sort of a race car for that long, now all of a sudden it kind of looks a little, like I don't know, maybe a solid color is a little bit uh, plain Jane. But anyway, this upload is not about the Lambo, it's about the OG Dirty Max. Now I did reveal the truck on the, on the main channel not long ago, but uh, we're giving you more updates today. So I have some pieces here in the back of the TRX. We've got new headlights for it. If you noticed in that upload, uh, if you saw it, I didn't have headlights on it, so I bought some headlights all blacked out with the black housing there. Looks really, really nice. The headlights here in the box, are gonna drop that off, but she really is about 98% now, and I can't believe it, but it does look really good. So I'll show you guys a little bit more here once I get this in the back. So we did go with the silver birch because, you know, I figured with the truck being that color underneath, might as well stick with that color that way. You know, if we paint the outside of the truck, you might see the other color underneath and I don't know, that just, that would bother me. So I figured silver birch. New mirrors in the back as well, all nice and black because these are old and faded. I think I had Shane and the team here at PDW put these on about, dang, I don't know, maybe four years ago, five years ago. They've been on a long time and they've kind of seen better days anyway. Recon LED tail lights with the wide body. Headlight bulb still attached. So the headlight should go in real easy. And then we have the grill. The grill was also already silver birch as well, which makes it a little bit easier. So headlights will go in. The bumpers turned out amazing in this gloss black. Looks really, really good. Still have the fog lights. Let's see if they work. Let's make sure actually, because I haven't confirmed if they do. I'm sure they do. Got them all. <laughs> I think they do work. Oh yeah, they're on. It's still working, LED light's still working. Man, this truck brings back a lot of memories. The only thing that's broken on it, I know, is the ship horn, or not the ship horn, the uh, train horn. We have the button here for it. That was always really fun, but it is there. So we have the brackets, we have the mounts for all that. If, uh, you know, whoever gets it next wants to install that, just needs a new air compressor. Have our rear axle there with the ATS cover, a uh, huge five inch exhaust with a big dump on it. That's a 10 inch tip if I remember. Uh, yeah, not subtle at all. And yeah, she's ready. So the rear bumper also is gonna get installed. The reason why it's not installed is because it doesn't fit. The rear bumper kind of tucks around the body and because the bedside now goes out like this, it doesn't fit. So I'm having Shane modify the bumper in some way to get that to fit on, but then it will be done. And the only reason why the bed is a little crooked is because like the bed was tweaked from the accident. So you can see the cab is level, so everything is good, but the bed kind of goes like that. So it's just tweaked up a little bit, but we could have a, like a metal shop could fix that, but she is looking really good, I will say. Runs and drives very nice, tons of power. A little bit lighter now too, that we took away a, a ton of metal with the fenders and the bedsides and all that, because that's all fiberglass. Uh, the bed's all fiberglass now, so that's quite a bit of weight gone. But like I said, she really is about 98% now and Shane will have her finished up shortly and that'll be done, buddy. A long process, how about it? It's been a few years. It sat for like two and a half years then I finally was like, all right, let's, yeah, let's get her done. Do yeah. <laughs> and she'll look good back on the road. Yeah. It does look sweet from that, that, sh that profile shot right there looks real good. 
There she is, looking wide, looking nasty. Looking at it through the camera, too. It does. Man, it looks cool. It looks cool. Now, I think I am going to sell it. I have a buyer. It's actually Ladesh's brother wants to buy the truck, which is really cool. Um, you know, I do like it, and it'd be cool to keep, but it should go to somebody who's actually going to drive it and use it. And I know that if I was a 19-year-old kid back when I was 19, I would have been pumped for a truck like this. Really badass, really cool. And he will... You know, he's somebody who's going to actually drive it and enjoy it, and I just won't. You know, I have so many projects, I have so much going on, and I have my daily driver truck. It's not really practical for me. So I just, I feel like I wouldn't be driving it a whole lot. I would drive, I would basically be only driving it to drive it until like I keep it going, but he'll drive it every day, and that's how it should be used. It should be, you know, it should be used every day. It shouldn't sit in a garage or in a corner, like it, it deserves to be driven. And I know people say that, like, oh, you know, it should go to somebody who's going to use it. But it's true. Like, it really should go to someone who's actually going to use it every day. That's what it's for. You know, it's a vehicle. And, and not only a vehicle, it's a truck. It should be a used daily. Um, and that it should go to somebody who's going to use it in that way. So I think I will sell it. Although I am really, really happy with how it turned out. And it's cool to see it back on the road. Quick update. The Blazer is here. And we almost have all the pieces for the axle swap. We're doing a full solid axle up front so we can finally run the 44s on her with working four-wheel drive. So that's a quick update on the Blazer. But that is your big update on the OG. She is 98%. Next update you see, she will be done and ready for whatever is next. That is your little Dirty Max update and hopefully the weather gets better. Actually, we got some sun peeking out for the first time in like a week. Literally been raining since last Friday. Uh, but then again, could be a lot worse. Uh, could we could be in Florida right now, which you know definitely hearts out to the people that have been dealing with all that. Which, by the way, we are uh, for the yellow car, which is right uh, behind the TRX here for the yellow car and for the Mustang. Um, if you enter to win those cars, so we always do 5K to charity. And what we're doing is because of what happened in Florida. Uh, we are adding another 5K uh, to each car going to a charity, some type of charity in Florida. If you notice, we like to pick a local charity. Um, so we haven't, you know, we haven't figured out which charity yet in Florida. Uh, and if you're in Florida and in one of the areas affected, if you know of a good local charity, we like to donate to local charities because, you know, there's nothing wrong with the big organizations either. But if you donate to a local charity, you know that probably almost all of your donation is actually going to go to where it needs to go in the community. Again, not that there's anything wrong with the big charities either, uh, but if you know of a good local charity in Florida that could use some money right now, we are donating 5k from the C8 and the uh, Mach 1, as well as the normal charity as well. So uh, we have the Queen Bee Project for the Corvette and PA Wounded Warriors for the Mustang. So total of 10k for each car will be going to charity. So if you haven't entered yet, I'll put the link down below. Um, so we're trying to at least help out a little bit. Uh, but that's about all I got for you. So hope you all enjoyed, hope you liked the OG. And like I said, hopefully we've got some better weather coming because we wanna go to Roush Creek this weekend and doing some fun stuff for the family channel. So if you all enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, take care, have a great night.